ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Shrimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 2nd Chapter, verse numbers 5 and 6. Yashyanke Shira Adhaya Loka Svapiti Nirvrta Svayam Dharma Adharma Va Nahi Veda Yatha Pashu Sakatam Nyarpetatmanam Krita Maitram Achetanam Visrambhaniyo Bhutanam Sagrano Dogdhum Arhati Yashyanke Shirak Adaya Yashyanke Shira Adaya Loka Svapiti Nirvrta Loka Svapiti Nirvrta Svayam Dharma Adharma Va Svayam Dharma Madharma Va Nahi Veda Yata Pashu Sakatam Nyarpitatmanam Krita Maitram Chetanam Visram Bhaniyo Bhutanam Sagrano Dogdhumarhati Sagrano Dogdhumarhati Yashyanke Shira Adhaya Lokak Svapiti Nirvrta Svayam Dharma Madharma Mba Nahi Veda Yatha Puru Sakatam Nyarpitatmanam Jashyanti Shidaya Adhaya Lupa Shapiti Nidhuti Nidhuta Sayam Dharma Dhanam Ba Nahi Veda Jadhapa Sakatam Narpitatmanam Kritamaitram Achetanam Vissam Bhani Bhutanam Sakhina Dugdumaras Just like a child is sleeping on the lap of his mother, uh, feeling secure, completely secure, that I am on the lap of my mother. Naturally, a child, when it is on the lap of its mother, is quite comfortable, silent, feeling very secure. So, in that position, if the mother kills the child, it is like that, that praja and the king, the praja, praja means the citizens, subjects, they should be feeling so much secure that we are under good government, there is no disturbance. Just like during the government of Maharaj Yudhishthi, uh, they were so secure, secure that even they had no uh, very much anxieties. Uh, our king is there. Uh, the world is full of anxieties, miseries, and difficulties. The, the good government means 
when the subject citizens feel secure from all such things. So here, just shanke sirvādhāyo, suppose I am sleeping very comfortably, uh, feeling secure by keeping my head on your lap. Just shanke sirvādhāyo, sapiti, and dreaming very happily, uh, Sayam dharma dharma ba nahi bida jatha pusha. You cannot expect all men to understand what is religion and what is not religion. General mass of people. Mm-hmm. So, what is the position of a person or any being who does not know? to make distinction what is dharma and adharma, as they have been described, he is described as jatha poshu. Poshu. Poshu means animal. An animal cannot make distinction what is right or what is wrong. That is not uh, Therefore it is said, uh, dharmena hina poshu samana. One who is uh, ignorant of dharma, dharma, he is no better than Kusu. Ahara nidra bhayavaithunancha samanna metat pasabhi narana. Ahara eating, I eat, the dog eats, the cat eats, I sleep, the dog sleeps, and the cat sleeps. Uh, I have sex desire, I satisfy it, the cats and dogs also satisfy it. Uh, and I am also afraid of my enemy, the cats and dogs are also afraid of enemy. You know, where is the difference between cats and dogs? Uh, the difference is that I can be trained of to become religious, the cats and dogs cannot. That is the Dharmena hina prasadi samaj. So if I don't take education and enlightenment, how to become uh, religious, I do not know how to uh, distinguish between right and wrong, then jatha pasu, then I am as good as anyone. That is the position at the present moment that people uh, are not educated to distinguish or to become pious. They are not educated. Uh, that means now at the present moment education means you learn technology uh, and learn how to earn money. And then after earning money you spend it for sense gratification. Uh, eating meat, eating wine, going to the brothel, prostitutes. This is modern civilization. Uh, so therefore, it is the civilization of Poshu, animal civilization, polished animal. Uh, it is not civilization. Uh, it is the duty of the guardian, uh, father, guru, government, or elderly relatives, everyone should be compassionate with the dependent. The father should be compassionate to the children that my children, they have come to me, they are now innocent. If I do not train them nicely, what kind of training? Uh, namo chayirja samupeta mrittum. That is the duty of the father, of the guru. Uh, how to save the dependent from the clutches of death? This is the duty. The government also. Uh, because death is sure. As soon as we get this material body, the death is sure. Uh, so we are eternal uh, spiritual spark. Krishna says, 
that the living entity is eternal. Nitya sasato yam, nahannati hannamani sarire. This is the information we get from the authority that the living entity is eternal. Nitya sasato. Ever existing. And does not die on the death or annihilation of the body. Uh, then what is the duty of the father? What is the duty of the government? Duty of the guru? Uh, how to save him from this repetition of birth and death? And uh, that is the duty. Uh, otherwise, to give some food, that also people cannot give now. Rather killing their children in the womb. This is Kalidu. Uh, whereas it is the duty of the parent how to save the child or the son from the classes of death they are now killing. This is advanced civilization. This is very all over the world. They are going to the medical mat and taking help and killing the child within the home. This is Kali. So here it is the same thing said that Jashanki Shiroyadhaya Loko Sabati Nidbita. A child is sleeping in the womb of the mother and the mother is killing. Then where to take shelter? Similarly, this example is that is this Ajami, he might have committed some sins without knowledge. Now he is no more sinful because he has chanted the holy name of Narayana. And he is not to be punished. That is the purpose of the Vishnu Dutta. So why you are dragging him, trying to take him to Jamarat to punish him? You do not know that he is innocent. We have to... The real purpose is that everyone, we commit sinful activities on account of ignorance. Therefore, the best humanitarian work is to give knowledge to the humanity. Not that one is suffering for want of food, and if I give some food, that is good work, but that is not sufficient. I may give food, that's all I should give. We also give prasadam, three. But that does not mean simply by giving prasadam we are silent. We give knowledge also. This is Krishna Consciousness Movement. Uh, food automatically you have to give. Uh, that is, there is no privation. But at the same time knowledge. Uh, without knowledge giving, if he remains ignorant, just like the same example, if, if you have got some children, if you don't give them education, simply feed them, uh, that is not your proper duty. Uh, you must give knowledge. That Krishna Consciousness Movement is that for uh, giving them knowledge. The first knowledge is that we are trying to convince everyone uh, uh, following the footprints of Lord Krishna as He wanted to convince in the very beginning that Dehinasmi Dathadihi Kaumana Jagavanagajara <clears throat> this is the first knowledge. One should know that he is not this body. He is spirit soul, different from this body. He is living within this body. This is called knowledge. And at the same time he should be supplied uh, the necessities of the body. Jāvadattha-prejaṁ nirbandhi krishna sammandhi jukta vīrādhaṁcha Anasattasya viśaya jatāraṁ mukajanjat viśaya. Viśaya means we need something for our sense gratification. That is allowed. We don't say that you don't eat. No. You eat, 
but you eat krishna prasad uh, don't eat anything else uh, then gradually your senses will be conquered sevan mukhi hi jivado same was prakada if you want to realize god the <coughs> first of all you should engage your tongue in the service of the lord uh, it is very astonishing that engaging the tongue i become perfect yes the beginning is the tongue uh, because the tongue is the greatest enemy uh, people are going to hell on account of being unable to control the tongue uh, the one has to control the tongue and controlling tongue means you engage the tongue in the service of the law how a tongue means you can speak with your tongue and you can eat with your tongue so engage the tongue chanting hari krishna and preaching krishna consciousness this is service and tang want to test giving krishna prasad very nice so as soon as you engage your tang in these two business uh, then naturally you uh, become purified and your senses become also purified and uh, then you come to the real platform sarvapadhi vinin muktam तत्परत्न निर्मल ऋषिकेन ऋषिकेश सेवन भक्ति रिचते दिस इज भक्ति टू एनगेज दि प्यूरीफाइड सेंसेस इन दि सर्वीस ऑफ दि मास्टर ऑफ सेंसेस ऋषिकेश ऋषिकेश मीन्स मास्टर ऋषिक मीन्स दि सेंसेस एंड ईश मीन्स मास्टर ऋषिकेश कृष्ण अनदर नेम इज ऋषिकेश so uh, we have to engage our senses our it is not our senses it is krishna we have forgotten uh, i am seeing with my eyes uh, i am very much proud i can see but why you cannot see when you are blind the eyes are there uh, because the master has withdrawn the sight power Uh, you can be happy with your decoration of the eyes but you cannot see uh, they actually i do not see just like i have got the spectacle the spectacle does not see i am seeing similarly with my eyes i am not seeing krishna is seeing because krishna is seeing therefore i am seeing. this is uh, the vedic bharsa i will find in upanishad because the supreme brahma is seeing that what we are seeing because the brahma, brahma is walking there are many evidences uh, just like this ear now i am hearing with this ear you are also hearing but when i am unconscious this ear is there and he call me uh, mr mo mr sir mr sir but i cannot hear the machine is there why you cannot hear uh, therefore the brahma is withdrawn the sarvam tholidam brahma everything is working because the brahma is there uh, otherwise it will not work simply making this body because the brahma the soul is there it is what uh, and as soon as the soul is out of this body it is lump of matter uh, they are thinking the brain is working the brain is not working brain is a machine ah uh, it's like typing you are typing the machine is not typing you are typing uh, unless there is touch of brahma ah uh, in nothing can work <coughs> so when we realize this that is called brahma bhuta prasanna atma uh, when we understand that i am simply an instrument ah uh, that is also explained in the bhagavad gita ah uh, brahman sarvabhutani jantra ruhani maya ah uh, actually we are under the direction of krishna and we, he has given us this machine this body 
and we are wandering throughout the whole universe. Ayu dupe brahmanda brahmite kono bhagavan ji. This is our position. Uh, we have got this machine and we are wandering throughout the universe in different planets and different forms of life and we do not know what is the aim of life. Uh, brahmanda bhramite kano bhagavan ji guru krishna kripaya paya bhakti lata bhi. In this wandering, 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 when we come in contact with the bona fide Guru, we get the seed of devotion and service. That is the uh, aim of life. How to get there? Uh, therefore, the Vedic injunction is tadvigyana thamsa guru meva avyachet. You must go. Uh, otherwise your life is useless. Uh, so it is the duty of guru, it is the duty of father, it is the duty of the government, it is duty of the elderly relative to educate everyone. This is human life, not that simply uh, eating like dog and dancing like dog. This is not human civilization. <coughs> so, sakatam narpitra atmanam kito maitram achetanam. Uh, if I think that my spiritual master is here, he will save me. And if I do not train him how to save them, then uh, what is the use of having such spiritual master? What is the use of uh, having such father? And what is the use of such government? Uh, uh, there is a Bengali uh, poetry by Bengali Vishnu. Janame janame sabe pitamata par. Krishna guru nahi mile bhajaha hiya. As soon as you take birth, there is father. Either you take birth as a snake or you take birth as a human being, without father and mother there is no question of birth. So father and mother you will get in every birth. But Krishna guru nahi mile bhajaha hiya. Krishna and Guru will not be available in every world. Uh, that is very important thing. Uh, you cannot get Krishna in the form of a snake or a cat and a dog, but you can get Krishna in the form as a human being. Uh, therefore, human being, this form of human being, Labdha Sudhalla Milam Bhosam Bhavanti. After many, many millions of years, we have got this human form of body. Uh, it should not be misused simply like cats and dogs. This is not success of life. Uh, therefore, Pallad Maharaj, although he was five years old boy, he advised his class friend that, Go Maharam Acharya He was an instruction, he is a devotee, he was preaching. My dear friend, you just become devotee of Krishna. The huh? huh? children protested, huh? we shall not play or we shall become Krishna conscious. No, no, we shall. The Pranayana must repeatedly say, no, no, no. Uh, even we are children, uh, we should not play. We should become Krishna conscious. Pragva. If you are intelligent, Kaumarang. Kaumarang means from the child, huh? from five years. Kaumarang Acharit Pragva Dharman Bhagavatani. Uh, why all right you say that I shall become Krishna conscious, I shall become, uh, let us grow now. No, durlavam manasam janmam tadapi adhurvam arthadam. No, 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 don't spoil your life in that way. Uh, it is, um, although you have got this body, human form, but it is also adhurvam, it will not stay. So before your next death you finish your Krishna consciousness. That is a real gain of life. Uh, don't wait that I shall become old and when I shall become feeble, there is no more energy, then I shall become Krishna conscious. Uh, of course, Krishna conscious one can become in a moment, uh, but, uh, but that is really done. Uh, we, everyone should be taught Krishna consciousness. From the very childhood, this is human civilization. Thank you very much.